Division determines how many times a number fits into another number. 2 divided by 5 can be written in any of these different ways. They all mean the same thing. That last one is a fraction, but a fraction is essentially an unfinished division problem. Two-fifths basically means divide something, like a cake, into five equal pieces, and then take two. Twenty-two over forty-four simplifies to one over two. One half is the simplified fraction. It's readily understandable at a glance. But you're not reducing the fraction, you're simplifying it. And by simplifying it, you're making it easier to understand or solve. But its value never changes. A fraction is a division problem. You can perform this operation on any division problem, whether or not it resembles a fraction. Take a look at this division problem. A good start might be to simplify it using factors. Both numbers are even, so both are divisible by 2. It's usually the best practice to divide by smaller factors first, and then by larger ones. We're allowed to multiply or divide the top and bottom of a fraction by the same number. Let's start by dividing both top and bottom by 2. So the problem becomes 161 divided by 7. 7 divides into 16 two times. The remainder is 2, which gets prepended to the left of the 1. 7 divides into 21 three times, so the answer is 23. Let's simplify and solve this next problem, 273 divided by 21. Both numbers are divisible by 3 because their digits add to 3 or add to a multiple of 3. 2 plus 1 equals 3, and 2 plus 7 plus 3 equals 12, which is a multiple of 3. Let's divide both numbers by 3. 273 divided by 3 is 91. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So our new problem is 91 divided by 7. 7 divides into 9 one time with a remainder of 2. Prepend the 2 to the next digit, 1, and you get 21. 7 divides into 21 three times, so the answer is 13. Answer this question in under five seconds. This problem is a breeze when you simply reframe it by regrouping. 4 goes into 4 once, into 52 13 times, and into 68 17 times. So from practicing division by factors, you can see the value of being able to recognize factors at a glance. For example, you know right away that 21 has factors 3 and 7. But how do you spot factors in a much larger number? A number is divisible by 2 if it's an even number. A number is divisible by 3 if its digits add to a multiple of 3. A number is divisible by 4 if its last two digits are divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends in 0 or 5. A number is divisible by 6 if it's an even number whose digits add to a multiple of 3. In other words, it passes a divisibility test for 2 and 3. Here's the test for 7. Take a number, remove the last digit and double it, and then subtract that from the remaining number. For example, 392. Take off the 2 and double it, subtract it from the remaining number. So that's 39 minus 4 equals 35. 35 is divisible by 7, so this number passes the test for divisibility by 7. Let's try another one. 623. Remove the 3 and double it, subtract it from 62, and you end up with 56. 56 is divisible by 7, so 623 is divisible by 7. A number is divisible by 8 if its last three digits are divisible by 8. A number is divisible by 9 
if its digits add to a multiple of 9. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends in 0. Here's the test for 11. Add together the first and third and fifth digits, etc., and subtract the second plus the fourth, etc. For example, 40,326. That's 4 plus 3 plus 6 minus 0 plus 2, and that equals 11. A number is divisible by 12 if it passes the divisibility test for 3 and 4. Here's the test for 13. Remove the last digit from the number. Subtract 9 times the removed number from the remaining number. For example, 8,463. Remove the 3 and multiply it times 9, and you get 27. The remaining number, 846, minus 27, is 819. 819 is divisible by 13, so the original number passes this divisibility test. Take 819, remove the 9, multiply it times 9, and you get 81. 81 minus 81 equals 0. If you end up with 0, you've passed the divisibility test. The number is divisible by 14 if it passes the divisibility test for 2 and for 7. A number is divisible by 15 if it passes the test for 3 and for 5. Most of these test methods follow patterns that are very easy to remember. The trickier ones are 7, 11, and 13.